Okay, so I have all this wood here that I've brought in a couple days ago. It's been drying. It's it's wood that I milled probably four years ago, three or four years ago. So it's well cured. It's been inside. It's been outside. Um, it was outside, just had snow on it and a bit wet. So I brought it in for a couple days. It's pretty well dry. So backstory on this wood is that about, I don't know, I guess four years ago, I had tried to make myself a wood drying rack similar to I guess how you would see like a kayak storage rack or like a paddle or a canoe storage rack. <clears throat> anyway, it was a fail. Um, I wasn't liking it. So I ended up taking it apart. This is it's hemlock. It's four by four approximately. And I just had it laying around. I ended up using the majority of it to build the little stand that the camper is on. And then these five pieces are the leftover. So I'd always kind of in my mind thought that I would make this into a table and being that this is the only dimensions that I have to work with or a side table, I guess. But I thought that um, I could make a little coffee table for one of the little cabins. Um, I just sort of orientated the, the pieces of wood. I might just switch this one around just so that they more or less line up relatively flat. They're all not, of course, perfectly even to or symmetrical to one another. Um, and my plan is basically I'm just going to plane the surfaces where they're going to join together and glue and screw and maybe try to figure out some other kind of different techniques for joinery. I don't have a, a biscuit joiner. I don't have a jointer. Um, not, I don't have anything kind of fancy. I do have a hand planer that I got <laughs> and uh, I ended up having to get the blades sharpened because I only used it once or twice and I ended up using it on the camper to bring up the linoleum. <laughs> so I wrecked the blades. I dulled the blades. Anyway, otherwise I'm going to leave it pretty rustic and I've made a few other things with this hemlock that's been exposed to the sun and looking like this, where it's super kind of aged looking. I've made a couple of coat rack things. And once you sand this down just a little bit, you get uh, a really cool aged wood look. So that's the look that I'm going for. Let's get to it. enough for me. Now I just need to try and figure out how exactly I want to join things together. Now because I don't have a, a biscuit joiner or anything like that, my plan was to basically just glue everything together, clamp it, and then put in some like pocket hole screws like at an angle. But I thought that I wonder if I could take a nail. I have no idea if this is gonna work. But I just took a nail like this. I cut the end off with an angle grinder and then I gave it a point like so it's a two pointed spike. I wonder if I could hammer in like this hammer in like that and with the glue and everything hammer the piece of wood on in this onto this nail and then it'll come together like that. I have no idea if that would even add, add any strength. A screw would be better I'm guessing I guess I guess as long as it has wood glue on it maybe I don't know if I lay it on the ground and hammer them together see if it works I think that might work I'm gonna try it
I gotta start somewhere. So I think I'm going to join two together and then two together and then the two pieces together in the center. Like I realize that the, there's a reason why the pegs when you do biscuit joins and stuff like that is wood, this is metal, but um, you know, making do. officially fired Steve from his garbage disposal duties. What's this? For me, I guess. Dear Steve, aka my love, 24th of January 2022, I hereby announce that you are officially fired from your, gar from your garbage disposal duties. Reason for termination <laughs> <laughs> Inability to, to complete tasks. Yours truly, the new garbage lady shell. <laughs> it's all yours. Great. Hooray! Good. I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> okay. So I have officially taken over the duty. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to go for a rip to the dumpster with me? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. The last time I used this table saw, it had a hard time starting. And as I was setting things up, I just thought to myself, I wonder what the chances are that this is not gonna work. And it started, and I don't know if like moisture has gotten into this or not, but anyway, it's started to spin and then it just died. Bummer. My plan was to take these bits of scraps that I've got. There are two by four, roughly two by four that I milled. And these were offcuts from my little shed that I built, the rafters. And my plan was to just uh, rip these in half or make everything into two inches. Cause that's um, all I can eat. That's all I, that's all I got. I think I would have preferred honestly about two and a half inch wide pieces. No, we're talking for the legs, but um, two inches was all I could get out of this material, but I don't even have 
table saw now. And I figure out why this table saw doesn't work. Hopefully it's not shot for good. I kind of always, I don't like it being out here. I don't like my tools being out here. It drives me nuts, but I have nowhere else to put things. I don't have a shop and I can't really do woodworking inside in the basement because we have our sports gear in that room. Plan B. I ended up going to a friend's house and using his table saw to rip that material down. I was able to get it within relative dimension to one another, um, but this is after all rough sawn lumber from my sawmill, so there are still variances within each piece of wood. So this is always a bit of a challenge for me, but as we all know by now, I like things rustic. My preference in terms of aesthetics would have been to use metal material for the legs, but I didn't have any, didn't want to buy any, didn't have any metal on hand, and I don't know how to weld yet. Online inspiration is where the design for the legs came from, and I'm hoping that although I don't have metal, I can make the wood uh, look like metal as much as possible. I ended up hauling the table saw inside and leaving it for a few days and it ended up starting right away so clearly a little bit of moisture got into it and freezing had occurred. This situation raised a conversation between Steve and I about my lack of proper space to work on these silly little projects of mine and since then we've been discussing the idea of either building or purchasing and assembling a bit of a structure as both a workshop for me and as well as a storage for a machine or two and some of the corresponding attachments. Just another thing to add to our list of things that we already want to get done this year. Now, in all honesty, I would prefer to leave it this way without a finish on it because I think it looks nicer. When you put a stain on it or when you put the varathane on it, it changes the look. Um, but for this, because it's going to be a table, it kind of needs it. So I just have to accept it. I was wanting to use as much stuff from home as I could to finish off this table. So I had a little can of black Rust-Oleum metal paint. I was really hoping for a matte finish on the whole tabletop itself as well. And the Minwax Varathane that I was using is a satin finish and it is typically the most matte finish that you can get in terms of standard of what's really out there, but it still was a little too glossy for what I would like. So I was able to find, after going to a few different stores, a spray, a, a, a clear matte finish spray. And, and I applied that and ended up being really happy with how that came out. Well, there you have it folks. One little table. You know, um, I think it's pretty good. Actually, it's funny because when, when I was in the workshop downstairs, you know, making it or whatever, and Steve would come down and look every once in a while and, and he was like, this is like going to be a coffee table. Like what? Maybe it'd be good for firewood. Like, you know, there we go again, like Steve is my biggest fan. But uh, ever since I brought it up and put it out here this morning, he was like, oh, actually, you know what? That's pretty good. You could sell that. 
he, he actually likes it. And it's gonna stay actually here for a while because uh, we kind of, we used to have a big ottoman here, but just with so many dogs, this is kind of prime real estate for dogs to lay down, but this is kind of nice to have, it'll be kind of nice to have this little table here, at least for a while. And, but you don't really care about the table, do you? Screw it, let's go in the hot tub. No! Poor wound is healing. Almost looks like I had a hip replacement. And now let's head to the truck. Any, uh, any guesses as to where I might be going with this little bundle of wood? You got it. See you guys out there in the next video. Bye! If only everyone could see the look on the dog's faces as they do all this stuff. It's pretty funny. They think I'm crazy. Nice and warm, Clyde is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Clyde. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry, bear. Look like this guy's fitting right next to the black dog. I know. <laughs> Cute. Norton. Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Everyone's hanging out by my new table. <laughs>